often wonder, what would it be like to be a superhero? But I don't have to wonder about the looks they get. Awe, glee, gratitude, I get those looks. Not for heroics, but when I tell people I don't buy bacon. I make it from scratch. It's my superpower. Everyone wants to be friends. Invites to dinners and parties. It's like... <laughs> bacon gets the invite, and I'm just its plus one. After a while, I've come to realize I don't have any superpowers. Bacon's the hero. I'm just the sidekick. Bacon's become a burden. So I cooked up a plot. Betray Bacon. I can't be the hero. I don't want to be the sidekick. That leaves me only one role to play. The villain. Betraying what I love. I'm letting the recipe out. Okay, here's the deal. Bacon is criminally easy to make. You need a 10 pound pork belly. Scope out Costco. I've considered stealing it, but I'm not that bad yet. You're gonna need smoker and curing salt. Call Todd at Amazing Products. He's my fixer for all things smoky and salty. The code word, bacon. Bring cash. Now, you could buy sugar and salt or steal packets from your local restaurant. That's what I do. You need two ounces of salt, one ounce of sugar, and one teaspoon of pink curing salt. Now, cut the slabs in half. Put one in each bag. Turns out, bacon turns law-abiding citizens into criminals. Two slabs means back up bacon. Mix the dry ingredients together, pour half into each bag, and spread evenly. Massage, if you will. Then throw those slabs of future savory scrumptiousness into the fridge. Now we wait seven days. While we're waiting, we have time to ponder. What is it about bacon? Why does it turn good people bad? Could it be the smell of bacon? A smell so hypnotic, it can brainwash some vegans into forgetting their convictions. I have a friend, she's vegan plus bacon. It was the smell. Could it be the taste of bacon? It's known throughout the world as meat candy. It's more addictive than artisanal cocaine and available on almost every street corner. Could it be nostalgia? It made me smile, reminding me of growing up before the burden of its secrets. Oh look, seven days. Our moment is at ham. Oh, hand. So, slab smoking stage. You need wood pellets. You have options. Pecan turns the fat golden. Apple gives it a sweet taste. Pick your poison. I mix them. Using the device Todd provided, smoke your slabs for two hours. Good news, you've got bacon. Bad news, people can smell it, and they are on their way. Slice and enjoy some damn good bacon. Now, I have heard it last in the fridge for two weeks, but that really has never been an issue for me. To step out from Bacon's shadow, I created this monologue and an overly complicated plan. Step one, get invited to speak in front of a large audience by bribing the organizer with bacon. Step two, lure my friends and leak the recipe. Step three, I no longer carry this burden alone. As they say in the comics, with great power 
comes great responsibility. And now you have the greatest power of all, the knowledge of making bacon. Thank <laughs> you.